What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with a new game called Roboco and the developers sent me this game to try it out. Now in this game, we have to build robots to accomplish different tasks. So in this task, we have to deliver a sandwich to the target zone, which is obviously that table. And I just love the way the humans are in this, but apparently there's a ton of physics in this game. So for example, the chairs, the people, all the objects, they're all physical objects that we can interact with. And of course we have to build a robot that can kind of do everything. Now I haven't ever played this game at all. I literally just booted it up. So we're going to go through the whole tutorial, uh, rotate the camera. Okay. Simple enough. Unlock some stuff, open the constructs panel. Okay. Sure, bases, gotcha. So it seems like it's sort of a block building game, but I think everything is resizable. Yeah, resize, unlock. So now I I can drag this, right? How do I, oh, use the resize tool. Okay, so see, look at this. It's kind of like a mixture of, I guess, scrap mechanic and main assembly. You've got sort of the building blocks aspect, but then you've also got, you know, the main assembly freeform to an extent. Um, you know, we're just gonna make a tank. I don't know how the logic works, but I feel like a tank never let us down. So there we go. Place a head on your base. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? We can make a cat or a butler. Well, we're delivering a sandwich, so it's clearly a butler, but there's a there's a bobble head. Oh my God, this is amazing. Why, why are there actual heads? We need, okay. This is, this is great. I love it already. Okay, so we're just gonna resize this. There you go. You're you're a little large. You know what? Let's shrink you down there. Look at this. Wonderful. We got to make cute little robots. You're not even going to reach the table. That's fine. Left wheel. Okay, so we put the left wheel on the left side. So you can see it does kind of have a grid system. Everything is sort of, you know, placeable on grids, but it's also, you know, freeform craftable right wheels. Okay, so everything is actually unique. That's interesting. It's not just like a standard wheel. Okay, now what? Live mode. Great. Now, oh. Oh, it's automatically tank drive. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's kind of convenient. Okay, there's the sandwich. Yeah, that's wonderful. Look at this. We can trip. Oh, can I trip you? I'm gonna try. Excuse me, sir. Sir, get back here. Sir, I am the future. You must respect me as the future. What about, what about this guy? Oh, oh, hold on. There we go. Yeah. He just, he literally just falls out of his chair and sits on the ground. He doesn't even try to get up. He's just, okay. This is perfect. This is, this is perfect. This is what's going to happen when we give Roombas artificial intelligence. They're going to take over the world. Oh my goodness. New objective. Okay. Hold on. I think we can do this. I think, I think just like in main assembly, I think we can, we can get a person to sit on our robot. Come here. No. On. Yep. 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 No. No, sit on the robot. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, you're upset. I'm shocked. So that's the whole tutorial. We've got parts. Um, DC motor continuously spins a connected rod. Does not accept input. Okay. Servo motor limits the motor rotation. Okay, so it's like a servo. Universal joint. Ooh, only attaches rod. Wow, they actually have the parts in this game to make like a flat up drive shaft system already integrated. They've got a CV joint. They've got a universal joint. That's just, that's awesome. That's, that's actually amazing. They've got a ring bearing, bubble joint, hinge, ring bearing, ball and socket. Oh my goodness. They've got, what are mechanical parts? Wheels, wheels, more wheels, gears. Oh my goodness. They've got a differential gear. What? They just, just built into the game. Just that's actually the sickest thing I've ever seen. I have no idea how you hook this up. I mean, you'd need a rod going into the top there somehow, and then one or two either side. That's so cool. All right, well, this game just got a little bit. Why would you need a differential gear? What, how complicated of robots are we making? Servo motors, receiver, and microcontroller. This is amazing. There's so many parts here to play with. I, and of course, oh, perfect. Can we, can we, hold on. Why can't? Why can't you wear a top hat? Amazing. All right, we're gonna deliver all the food. Now we've got to make the thing uh, 15, 1.5 meters tall. Is that what it says? Oh, 15 units high. So I'm assuming a block is a unit. These wheels look like they're five units, I guess. And then we gotta go up another 10. Now, how the heck are we gonna actually push this thing off? We've got, first of all, we gotta capture the sandwich. So the sandwich falls here, right? So if we just park ourselves right in the middle, we can catch the sandwich. 
Um, okay, wonderful. Place a block down. And let's drag this guy up. So it's 10 by 1. Uh, so that would be... How high would this be? You know what? Let's just measure. That's This is going to be too high, right? Perfect. How, how tall is this? Is this the right height for the table? It seems like it's two blocks too high for the table. Okay, hold on. Let's bring it down a few. Try it again. I love this. This is amazing. All right, so that's the right height for the table. So now we just need to make something that can sit on top of that platform and deliver the sandwich. But here we go. Let's let's pretend this is our serving tray. What does this do? Oh, look at that. We have the whole sandwich. Okay. Okay, can we just drive really fast and stop? <laughs> Good enough. Yeah, he's you put his sandwich on the floor. He's so bad about this too. Servo motor, that's what we want. Okay, so it rotates off that point. So then what, we just attach this like so, I'm assuming. And then we just bring this down. Does that, that's going to auto weld, right? All right, now how do we control this servo motor is the question. So what is the settings for that? Oh, okay, at the top here, constructs, groups of assembled parts. Oh, okay, so this left wheel is actually like a motor that's been configured and placed with blocks. Oh, they just did a bunch of stuff for you. Okay, I get it, I get it. These are all just preset pieces. Oh, that's neat. Lift arm, lift arm, steering. You know, that's really cool. I mean, I'm gonna obviously build stuff myself, but basically a bunch of preset pieces, but the heads aren't, I guess. The heads are, or I guess maybe you could make the heads. You know what? I don't even know. All right. So we go to this menu, the config properties menu, and then controls menu. Oh my goodness. This is this is a lot more complicated than I thought it was. Okay, so servo motor one. Got that. Max RPM. Yeah. Clockwise limit. Um, so counterclockwise limit is zero. We don't want that to change. Clockwise limit, 45 degrees. That sounds good. Controls. E, create new. Servo motor one. Spin forward. That's amazing. E, create new. This is like Kerbal Space Program controls. Where like in Kerbal, you have a rocket, you build it, and then you set your controls later. This is really neat. Well, you know what? I think that's good enough. So if I've done this right, um, Q or E, main action, secondary action. No, they don't, they don't do anything. Oh, don't worry, guys. Cod is dumb. It doesn't read, of course. Attach rods to motors to spin them. That's right. You have to uh, attach a rod to a motor. Uh, yeah. The, the motor needs an actual rod coming out of the motor. And then you put a block on the end of the rod. And now we should be able to actually take this, resize it. There we go. Now the controls should work, right? So if we go to our control settings, Q, E, still left and right, save this bot as... Holy cow, they have a ton of robots. Oh my god, there's walkers and stuff. Oh, I need to check out some of these. Uh, we're going to save this as Diner 5000 because that... It's probably a good name. All right, so now this should work, right? Q and E. Oh, E flips it forward. And Q, look at this. And the plate doesn't want to fall off. The sandwich fell off, but the plate plate is just stuck on there. Okay. Here we go. This is the Dinerbot 5000. Here we go, sir. I mean, it was better. It was better. We still didn't keep the sandwich upright on the plate. Okay, hold on. We'll try that again one more time. I feel like this is just... We might be able to actually get this with the... Really? Alright. Slow to start. Re We're on some, like, really, really... Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, let's just... Let's just tip this forward a little bit. There we go. To account for the acceleration. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's looking good. No. You know what? We need we need something that actually that actually serves the plate properly. This is not this is not gonna work. Okay, I got an idea. Hold on. Let's retry this. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of this. This is this is nobody wanted this. This was a bad idea from the start. Alright, perfect. Look at that. This is gonna be fantastic. We're at the right height for the table too, right? Yes, yes we are. Okay, so now all we need to do is make some sort of a swinging arm thing that pushes the sandwich off onto the table. You know what? Maybe we can even make the swinging arm... Now, pushing it from the side seems like a stupid idea. We just need to make an arm that pushes it from the back all the way forward. Because clearly, tipping the table 
uh, did not work. So it seems like to do this, we're stuck with nothing but uh, rotating motor parts. If we look at, you know, we've got a DC motor that rotates in a servo motor. Um, so I feel like the only way to do this is like old school scrap mechanics. So we're basically just going to have to make, you know, old school pistons, which is a motor that then rotates, is connected to a block, um, which is then an arm. And that, of course, rotates on another motor. How do I attach this? This is going to get... No, because I need this one to be vertical. It's just going to get really tall. Can I attach it? Can I attach it there? I can't. Like, I can't attach it from the side, right? So I have to attach it pretty much... Is there a way for me to... Hold on. What if I do this? And then can I click number three here? Oh, here we go. Hold on. Uh, this one. Perfect. Okay. And then we put a motor on this guy. And we attach this to another one that goes out like so. It's a very interesting building system. It's it's kind of nice. It's a weird hybrid of building with parts and building with regular blocks. All right, so I've set up three servo motors here. And theoretically, if we rotate this one and then this one and this one all at the same time, we should be able to do the whole, you know, pusher piston type mechanism um and it should all work right all right so hold on this one i think is 45 and zero because it rotates counterclockwise no it rotates clockwise only so this one's zero and 45 this one over here is 45 and zero because it has to rotate in the opposite direction and then this one again is zero and 45 in that direction and now if we go to the controls e is servo motor one spin forward spin reverse spin forward and q is reverse forward reverse a little bit confusing but i think it should work and i think it's all oh i think oh what do these weld oh i bet you it all welds together all right so i guess i'm just gonna have to move this last servo motor somewhere which will kind of screw things up a little bit it should be in line with everything else in order for it to have the perfect thing actually you know what we can keep it in line so we'll just actually go to the blocks put another block up here and we'll just have to move that servo motor up one uh i don't know how to actually i wish there was a way to remove that joint because that would be cool to have it all lined up i mean it doesn't really matter this will work and then we'll just rotate this again put it up this way this building system it takes a bit to get used to but i mean it's pretty easy seeing as how it's just you know sort of placing blocks for the most part all right, hold on. There we go. Perfect. So now if we look at our, our joints menu, uh, we should see everything is... Yeah, there we go. That's fixed to that. Good. That's fixed to that. These say disconnected. Perfect. And that's... What is this? Is this disconnected? No, this should be this should be connected, should it not? Oh, because you're connected there. No, I don't want you connected there. See, how do I change that? Connected there. But I can't disconnect this. All right, so I can move that whole thing up a block, but now we're going to have this weird, ugly gap that might not actually push the sandwich up. Also, what is that? Oh, hold on. I got to set the actions for this. That's right. Let's let's fix this whole thing first before we kill everybody. Ready? That's amazing. We need a... We need... See, we need the sandwich. We need the... We need... Property damage? What did I damage? What? What are you talking about? Property damage. What could I possibly have damaged? We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so now all we need to do is figure out how to make this not attached to that and slow down all the servos. So servo one, max RPM. You know, we're going to go 10, 109. You know what? For Let's just let's just for fun. What's fastest? 500. Let's go 250 then. I just want to see, can we possibly fling the sandwich from here all the way to the other side? What What will this do? Will it work? It's got a clear shot at the manager. It just destroyed the plate. All right, so I found this curved block here, which I'm guessing is for this kind of thing exactly. I can't figure out how to detach this from this. Maybe there's a way, maybe there isn't. But we can just place this curved block here, and it seems to only attach on the one side. Maybe that's just how it is. If you want blocks to not weld, you have to... You know, think about how you position them with some smooth surfaces. Or maybe there is a way. Like, this joint menu is super awesome. It shows you how everything's connected. And like, for example, we could have that rotate or fixed or whatever. But it doesn't really show you, you know, how you can disconnect two things. Like, it would be nice if there was a way for me to just click this and have it disconnected. Although, I don't know if that's 
uh, you know, an intended feature or not, it still doesn't move. It's like, that has the, oh, okay, it does. That just got a lot of friction. Okay, can we increase the torque on these motors? Max RPM, max torque, a thousand. Yeah, there we go. Let's crank that up. Oh boy, it still gets, it still gets a little jammed. Oh my goodness. And then finally, you know what? Finally it works. That's okay. Maybe this will be good enough. I don't know why it's so friction-y, but I think, you know what? I think this is a solution. Here we go. All three start. Man, it dude, I'm trying to serve your customers here, okay? Yeah, don't look, don't look like you're working to... Sir, look, you're the reason the sandwich is on the floor right now, okay? You are clearly the problem. All right, let's try that again, shall we? Let's let's have manager Steve. Yeah, no, you just you just go go on by. It's not like I'm trying to serve customers here. All right, we've gotten gotten to this point. Let's go slow. Is it still on the plate? It's still on the plate. Okay, let's line it up with the table. Now hold E. Oh, did it? No, 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 no. No, it was... Dang it! Broke the plate. Let's try it again. We'll try it again. Almost got it. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I mean, I feel like there's better ways to do this. Could definitely make... No, gotta... Oh, for goodness sake. No, it's not... No one wants a sandwich on the floor. Yeah, there's definitely better ways you could make this. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of people who would get this game and make much more efficient robots. I definitely want to try and make a robot with an actual hand. Um, I have a lot of questions about how the building system in this game works and how to make stuff a lot better just based on this initial mess of a piston experiment here um i had i definitely have a lot of questions but i'm sure i'll figure it out there's a whole sandbox mode that we can definitely explore and take a look at um to build some creations did the sandwich stay upright oh look at that perfect they're just everybody's just slow clapping except for this guy I don't know what, I don't know what he's doing. Everyone else is slow clap. You're not, oh no, you're not clapping it. You know what? Screw you, dude. Screw, screw you. Screw you. You're not, you don't have any. Did I just lose the challenge for killing that guy? All right, one more time we'll deliver this sandwich, but uh, definitely let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments down below. I will, of course, include a link to the Steam page and uh, you guys should definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely got a lot of promise. And I can't wait to do more challenges. Are we actually stuck here? Are we serious? Wow. Hold on. We didn't even have to get it off the robot. You, you can just eat off the robot. Perfect. Look at that. Don't even need to move it. We're just gonna, we're gonna leave it here. You can eat right off the robot. It's like your personal serving table. But definitely let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments down below. And uh, hopefully the devs come out with more challenges for it soon. I really like the game. I'm definitely gonna spend some time in sandbox mode figuring out the building system and figuring out how to, you know, make these servo motors better and hopefully not as floppy. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time.